like I said, I have six kids, and I need to stop because now I'm a weird person. <laughs> like, I was going for the softball team, but I don't know if we're gonna make it. Uh, but what's crazy is I, I feel bad for my baby moms now. I said moms, plural, yes. <laughs> Because now, like, I'm on six, and I treat it like it's nothing. Like, it was her first. She's like, I'm going into labor. I'm like, I'll be there in 12 hours. <laughs> She's like, what? I'm like, trust, it's going to take a while. I'm going to go have some drinks. <laughs> hit, an, hit an Alberto's or something. Get a burrito. But I do love having kids, because I love stealing all the shit from the doctor's office. <laughs> Is that not the best thing in the world? Just stealing the shit from the doctor's office? Like, I'm like, baby, yeah, just don't make any noise right now. I'm going in. She's like, the baby's coming. Like, hold it in, bitch. I'm taking the gas mask. <laughs> I snuck my lady in weed when she was in labor. And then the doctor's like, this room smells like weed. And I've learned to always put it on someone else, right? <laughs> so the doctor comes in, he goes, this room smells like weed. I'm like, yeah, that last nurse was fucking weird as shit, dude. <laughs> She's all sketchy and she, and she was a nurse in LA, so you know she went to American Career College. Like, it didn't... <laughs> You ever watch the American Career College commercials? Have you ever seen an American in an American Career College commercial? <laughs> Never, right? It's always some Mexican degrading herself and she doesn't even know she's doing it, right? She's like, hi, my name is Lupe. I got 14 babies and 17 baby daddies. She's like, I dropped out in second grade. She's like, but if I can do it, she can do it! She just gets all happy. And then she becomes a dental assistant. And that's scary. That's why I'm scared of the dentist. It's not for the sharp objects. It's that Guadalupe dropped out in second grade. And is now a dental assistant. Because going to the dentist is always... Have you noticed every dentist has the same fish? In the Every dentist has the same fish in the fish tank. It's always that yellow fish. And they always got, like, those highlights from 1996, those magazines. You know what I mean? Like, none of that shit's even accurate. If you did your homework out of those magazines, you would fail now. You'd be like, Pluto's totally a planet in my dentist magazine. The dentist, though, dude, because that, that I think every dentist should be a detective because that's the only guy that can understand you when his fist is in your fucking mouth, right? <laughs> is it not, dude? He's like, Did you go anywhere nice? He's like, Oh, the Poconos, yeah, we've been there. Um... And you know when he fucks up because you hear the difference, like, everything's like. Zzz, boom. And your little blue thing turns red as fuck. But the dentist has one word. He doesn't even panic. He just has one word that saves his ass. He looks at American Career College. And he just goes, suction. That's all he says. Right? You're like bleeding. It was suction. What if that worked for everything in life? Like you back out of your driveway and you hit your neighbor's car. You're like, oh shit, suction. Let's just get out of here. Let's just get out of here. Let's just handle that. I, I fucking hate the dentist, man. Like, it's the word. You go through all that bullshit, and I think the dentist and the doctor are in cahoots. Because if the dentist cuts you deep, he goes, I can't do stitches. You got to go to the doctor. So you go to the doctor, and you get stitches, and the doctor's like, you did good, here's a sucker. And then you eat the sucker and you get cavities. <laughs> and you go to the dentist. And then the dentist cuts your gums. And it's just a whole vicious cycle. 
and then you're just reading these 1996 highlights forever. <laughs> Then you gotta go to your kindergarten teacher and be like, Pluto's the planet, I read it.